Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Centre here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the platforming game Masto is Together which because I'm fat thought it originally said Mashto as in mashed potato was together hmm anyway this was developed by Kind Cat Games Rattleica Games published by East Asia Soft and is available as always for a minuscule £4.19 so this plays as a platformer usually plays, get to the other side avoiding spikes and other crap that wants to kill you. And we do this as a sugar free marshmallow for some reason, actually just because we can. See everything's got to be sugar free and stuff these days as to not offend the more rounded individual or those that like to get offended by everything anyway. Uh, swiftly moving on, now achievements wise we only have to complete the first 12 levels to get the full 1000 and platinum. Now if you're really good at platformers you can get this done in about 5 minutes, if you're a bit average like me you can still get this done in around 15 to 20 minutes. Now there are checkpoints in each level too which make things quite a lot easier, but bear in mind you will be dying quite a few times but once you get a stranglehold on the game you will eventually end up smashing it. So as I said then, this can take you anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes, so with that being said, let us begin. Now let's uh, just have a quick look at the controls. So, the A button is to jump, the X button or square button is to dash. So we've got the first couple of levels as like a tutorial. So left stick to move, A to jump, obviously, you know, try and avoid the spikes, which is always handy. These little candle looking things in the middle is the checkpoint, which again, come in mega handy. And just go to the portal on the other side. So the X button to dash. Um, so what we'll be doing a lot is pressing the A button and then the X button or cross and square if you're on PlayStation very quickly. So as you can see there, just dashing across doesn't work. So we'll be jumping and dashing quite a bit. Um, so what you can do is just actually press the X button to dash up. There we go. So any uh, stick, uh, any direction that your left stick is in, um, that is where you will dash. So if you just press down, if you want to go down, you can press the uh, down on the left stick, of course, and the dash button and you will dash down. So just keep... Um, Again, left stick and A to jump up the wall. So if you go left now and then right, almost buggered that one up, and as I do. And this is where it starts to get tidily fun. So these little green little pad looking things are bouncing pads, strangely enough, as they usually are. So a lot, like I said, a lot of the times you will be either doing a quick dash or just bouncing across like I done, but take your time. That is the main important thing. If you're in one specific part, just take your time. Uh, so you can fall through these ledges by pressing down on the left stick or D-pad, whatever way you prefer, whichever way is easier for you, and then pressing the A button. But like I said, you can use the dash button as well, which will help quite a bit with later levels. So what you gotta do here is just jump down. You can slide on the wall and then do a jump down and then obviously what you'll have to do is a lot of the time you actually have to dash before you get to the spikes at the top otherwise you just go straight into the spikes so that is something again you will need to t uh, keep an eye on so from here we can just jump dash and then you have to do a diagonal dash just to get up there jump down do a couple of wall jumps up and then we should be okay from here just if you want to again just uh, stick on the wall or just jump down and dash in now this is the first point which really had me struggling to be honest in terms of uh, the timing in terms of the timing of jumping and dashing. So this first bit's okay. Just dash across to the other side and what you'll do is just do a jump and a dash, climb up, and then what you have to do is time it perfectly so you've got the um, jump and dash ability down. So yeah, that bit took me quite a few tries. So again, don't be disheartened. You will get you will get to that point eventually, so please do not be disheartened if that starts doing your head in. It did mine in. <laughs> so I'm here, what we're going to do. Now what it wants you to do is just jump on the pads all the way, but we're just going to do a bit of wall climbing and then dash across. That makes life easier. So from here we can just dash. You can, you can actually bypass the green sort of lily bouncing pads just by dashing down. You can actually dash down past them. Um, not the way I've done it. So fall through and dash. And you should get to this point, this bit's not so bad, you can just sort of wall climb and then do a dash over it. Jump and dash here so you don't go on the bouncing pads. And that is that level complete. Right, so these guns, they're actually not too bad. Again, it's literally just all to do with timing. So, um, it seems like it's going to be more trickier, but I actually found these levels not as difficult as the last couple. So, again, just wait until the uh, guns go past, the bullets or whatever. 
jump and dash, do another jump and dash. Obviously, uh, jump over the bounce pad so you don't go into spiky boys. Right, what you'll have to do, what you can do is actually just take your time. So wait, bullet, and then fall through. Bullet goes, fall through. This bit may take you a few tries again, falling through and dashing. Otherwise, when we get to this bit, we can now just wall climb on, jump, wait for the bullets to go past, jump on the next one, and then dash to the blue portal. There we go. So we're, we're almost there. We're getting there. What was that? Level 10. So we've got two levels left now. So this one may take a few tries again to get past. Uh, again, it's just all timing. So as soon as that one bullet goes, jump. Wait until it starts shooting and jump. Wait, jump, and then you should be good to go. You can actually dash. If you go from about the middle of the platform there, you can dash to the other side. And there is a checkpoint actually just where in the bottom left-hand corner. So again, wait for the bullets to go and then dash to the other side. This one took a few tries as well, but you jump up and then dash as soon as you get to the top, otherwise you go straight into the spikes. And then that final bit there, again, just keep pressing the down and the X button to dash straight down. That is how you do that one. But again, don't be disheartened, it can take a few tries, it definitely took me a couple of tries to do them first. So, again, we're just waiting for the bullets, and then we can just jump up. Wait, wait for the bullets, and there we go, we can just jump up to the other side. Dash, as soon as the bullets go through, dash to the other side and we get our first checkpoint, luckily. So what we can do, we can actually just wait for the bullets to go and then do a dash to the other side. So very quickly press A and X, more or less together. And as soon as the bullets go, we'll have to run at this point. So run there and then we can fall through and then run again and we get to the next checkpoint. So again, we're going to jump down and we're going to do the A and X very quickly together. Jump and dash to the other side. And again, what we need to do is fall through here and then do a dash. So as soon as the bullet goes, do a dash and you should be okay. Jump and dash one more time and then jump and dash one more time again. And that is that. So that is all 12 levels complete. Again, I'm just very average at platformers. So this personally took me around, I think, 19, 20 minutes, something like that. So don't be disheartened. You can do it. It's not too bad. As soon as you get past that bit, it's it, any bit that you're stuck on, it's really not too bad. But there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that the guide helped. Um, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend if it did help as well. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Patreon as well. And a big shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. And everyone who just interacts with me on the daily as well. You guys and gals are fantastic. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one anyway. Big love.